Good afternoon folks, Dan Dale with Jackson Lease Sales in Jackson, Mississippi. Today we've got a 94 Newmar Mountain Air that we're going to be listing. Over the years we've probably sold several dozen of these Newmars in this body style configuration. They're real good motor homes, they're quality, they're high end units. And back in 94, unless you got a diesel, this was about the most money you could spend on a gas motor home would be to buy a Newmar Mountain Air like this one. And it's got low miles, it's around 37 feet long. It runs perfect, it's in great shape. We just got it at a bank auction up in Missouri. I drove it all the way back to our place here in Jackson, Mississippi, almost 600 miles, didn't have any problems. Everything in it works dash air is cold runs great we'll walk around and show it to you you can see the paint's in nice shape there's no delamination no soft spots anywhere on it the stripes are in pretty good shape this one has the driver entry door it's real handy for climbing in and out you see you got jacks you got a tag axle with air ride suspension I only got 39,000 actual miles I believe the engines running yeah it's running although you can't hear it we got the generator running too we got wind awnings on I think all the awnings, all the windows have awnings one thing we really like it's just got a good set of tires on it. They don't have any dry rot. The tread is excellent. No issues with the tires. Be careful you buy any, even if you don't buy ours, you buy any used motor home. They got, you'll never wear the tread out, but when tires get dry rotted, on one like this with tag axle, you'd be spending fifteen hundred, two grand on a set of tires show you some of these compartments got 50 amp power so you can run both roof air conditioners at the same time you can see the backs in real nice shape got a backup camera we just put a new one in the old one was bad we got a new one this back here would be perfect for a mural maybe like a phoenix rising out of a lake of fire or a cobra strangling a mongoose or a goat and a chicken I don't know whatever strikes you fancy you can see down the sides here it's sitting that cheap fiberglass side and this is aluminum siding I think I'm pretty sure it's aluminum if it's not it's real shiny to be that fiberglass gel coat and if we had anybody that could do any work we get this buffed out and it would shine just like a brand new one. Got more storage, pass through basement storage. You got a 10 gallon hot water heater instead of the usual six. You can see the tires are excellent. I've got the generator running. One thing we like is they put the generator up front so you can run it at night and not have to worry about a lot of racket. I've got the bed out just to show you it's got a full-size sofa bed it's not one of those little cheap jackknife sofas up front here the engine believe it or not is running so is the generator 39,981 actual miles has 435 hours on the Onan Emerald Plus 6500 generator you can see the upholstery is in excellent condition. No rips or tears. We put another TV in it. It's got storage all over the place. There's your microwave or DVD. Not microwave. VCR, DVD hookups. More in there. It's got a uh, Uline ice maker. I can't promise you it works. I'm not sure how that thing works, but it's got one in it. Um, right there we can put a lounge or recliner we started to put one in it and we figured well we'd rather just adjust the reserve and let you pick out what kind of 
chair you prefer to have there. Up here is a lighted glass cabinet. It's got that's some kind of etched glass. Looking back through, there's your sofa cushions. Got a wood floor in it. You can see it's a model 37 CBS ACA 94 model. There's my phone. I better get it before I leave it. Apparently, I don't think this oven's ever been cooked in. It's brand new. The grill's been cooked in. It needs to be cleaned. We used to spend four or $500 a motorhome detailing these. And we found that when people got home, their wives usually redid it anyway. So that was just five or $600 that we had to pass along in our price and basically didn't accomplish anything. So we, this is just how we traded it in. We rinsed it off and that's basically just how we bought it. We got it at a bank auction in Springfield, Missouri. Moving on back, you can see no check lights on. The refrigerator does work, it's cooling off. The cool thing in here, we've got a washer and dryer which is part of the reason it's got a 10 gallon hot water heater. Sanyo dryer, big full size Whirlpool washer. Most RVs will washer and dryer. You'll see they got those little dinky combo units and they're okay, but there's always something going on with them. With these, just throwing in, you're good to go. Absolutely no problems there. Another cool feature has the side hallway so you don't have to worry about having to walk through the bathroom to get back to the bedroom. It's fully automatic, thermostat controlled, air conditioning, heating, got a carbon monoxide detector here in the bathroom. I think that's a porcelain toilet, which that alone should tell you what kind of high-end Newmar motorhome this is. Has a tub and a shower in it which is great if you got kids. Here's your vanity, medicine cabinet, mirrors everywhere. We like having a lot of mirrors, adds to the spaciousness. Back here, you got a real wood door, not a cheap, flimsy pair of curtains or something. In the back, you got a new mattress, passion purple, mirrored headboard so you can watch yourself work. This is a real comfortable mattress. It's not one of those thin RV units. It's got a separate climate control for the rear. You can see you got three huge closets. They're full length. Got a place you can put a TV. You got shelves in there. Drawers there. You got the day-night shades on both sides. And they do work. They don't need strings or anything. You got a smoke alarm. Ducted air. Look around on the ceiling. There's no stains. No signs of previous leaks. You do have a little crack in your mirror there. Of course, you know, nothing's perfect. This is a 94, it's not an 04. Moving back up, let you take a look at the ceiling up here. This ducted air really cools things off. Going nicely. And here in the Confederacy, it's about 185 degrees. So we really appreciate our air conditioning and we can't do without it. Oh, over here, it's got gas and electric hot water. So you can use either one or you can crank them both up and get super hot water or get it fast. It's a sharp carousel microwave. You can see it's clean. It's not funked up. There's TV antenna slide out controls, battery controls, read the volts, 13.2, 13.5 for the house and the chassis batteries. They're all working just like they should be. Fold this bed up, it folds up out of the way. Then we have the cushions to put back in it. Folks, if you watched your videos, you've seen my dad do these. He's in Fort Worth, it's 
supposedly at an auction probably goofing off but if you like to buy this if you have any questions want to make us an offer uh, just want to chit chat see how things are going give him a call his name's Bob Dale his cell phone number is 601-218-1223 he'll answer it pretty much any time if he don't just keep blowing his phone up until he does answer he will be glad to tell you anything you need to know about this motorhome. It's a 94 Newmar Mountain Air, 37 foot, 39,000 original miles, 430 hours on the generator. No problems, no issues. Um, if you get here, you like it. We'll have our mechanic Goober here. Goober will be glad to show you how everything works. Uh, he'll go over it with you, give you a good school. Goober's been working for us for a long time. Uh, we managed not to kill him yet. So if he's lasted this long, he must know a little bit about it. Anyway, give us a call, 601-218-1223. We're in Jackson, Mississippi. Fly in, we'll pick you up. You can drive it home. Thanks for looking and good luck bidding.